I have Minecraft. I have PUBG. Oh, what do I get with this exactly? Well, if you were thinking Fortnite, then you were absolutely correct. The release of Fortnite in 2017 was only intended to be a sandbox game, but it grew to something even bigger. In mid-2018, the game saw a massive spike in its player base, where Epic Games reported that a whopping 78.3 million players had entered the Battle Royale world. That alone was a single month record. However, with the increasing skills of players and new patches to this day, we wanted to bring in light the question that every major YouTuber has been asking. Is Fortnite dying? Well, if you ask us, we can say for sure the game is still kicking it high on the ladder. Today, we'll be going over topics with the game that we think would elaborate on our answer in our very own way. Stay tuned as we'll be diving deep into why the game is still as popular as ever. The first thing to bring up is the Travis Scott concert. One of the most smartest things that Epic Games has probably done to retarget the audience is creating events of live concerts with popular artists such as Marshmallow, Diplo, Steve Aoki, and most notably, Travis Scott. This event featured crazy and trippy effects, a massive in-game version of Travis Scott, and his most popular song, Sicker Mode. It has been tweeted by Epic that over 12.3 million concurrent players have participated live in the Travis Scott astronomical event, even more than the first Marshmallow event, which had 10.8 million concurrent players. The stage for the concert was set on a tropical beach north of Sweaty Sands. There were five shows spread over two days. The entire schedule for this can be seen on the screen right at this moment. A win-win situation for Travis Scott and Epic Games. After the event had finished, it was found that Travis Scott's social media handles had gained 1.4 million followers. Further, he also recorded a 419% increase in demand for his tickets. Spotify has also saw a rise in the number of Travis Scott's stream music. However, this is just speculation. Cosmetics within the game One of the secondary things that players in Fortnite love are the cosmetics. With a daily rotating item shop, players purchase the in-game currency V-Bucks with real money. This allows them to buy skins or have a sick dance off friends and enemies. In order to keep interest in their player base, Epic Games regularly design new skins or give existing skins variations for players to rock in their games. Emotes within the game also play a significant role where players will dance to them in real life or use it to celebrate a victory royale. New Seasons Each season in Fortnite lasts about 10 weeks and has shown more than what they have to offer within their trailers. A new meta with different mechanics may confuse and anger some of the players at first. But over time, they grow accustomed to the change and don't realize how much fun they're having before a new season hits. What players usually seek within a new season is the Battle Pass. It is a tier season which awards players with cosmetics as they continue to grind out the game. Cosmetics that can be obtained are gliders, backblinks, emotes, and skins that players can customize to the ones they have currently. What's even more crazy is that the Battle Pass also awards 100 V-Bucks around every 5th tier, stacking out 1500 V-Bucks if players complete the Battle Pass. The possibilities are endless with how they choose to spend their V-Bucks. Will they continue to buy the next season Battle Pass to obtain a lot of com cosmetics? Or save it? It is up to them to decide. Support a creator. In October 2018, Epic Games released a Support a Creator program which allows content creator for the games to earn revenue from people using the specially generated code. This rewards people for giving the game exposure in a variety of platforms such as YouTube and Twitch. Each creator earns $5 USD for every 1000 V-Bucks that is spent by a player using their code. Another reason why this program was implemented was a way to encourage fans to support their favorite content creators. This will then boost the game's player base and in return add more into the fun. The eligibility required to get a creator code isn't all that bad. You must have 1,000 plus active followers on at least one social media platform, complete the affiliate agreement biased by the creator code of conduct, 
it is capable of receiving payment in a form that Epic supports. Easy, isn't it? Let's start with the last two points and research more into how to gain 1000 plus followers ASAP. We all have to start somewhere, right? Now that we've seen all the great things that Fortnite has to offer, let's look at what has been dragging the game down and get both sides of the picture, shall we? The attack of the bots. Have you ever played a game of Fortnite and ran into an enemy that had no idea what to win? If you answered yes to this question, there is a high chance that you run into a Fortnite bot. In Chapter 2, Season 2 of the game, the player base has started to notice a decrease of real players in the lobby, and more so, soulless characters that would shoot aimlessly or strafe very peculiarly. The main purpose of this, as stated by Epic, was to provide a better path for players to grow in skill. Bots will work in conjunction with the new matchmaking system, and as your skill improves, you'll face fewer bots. Bots will not be present in competitive playlists. This is another system that we'll continue to update and iterate. Thank God! We've been seeing less of them within the current season, but who knows? Maybe one day, bots will crank 90s on us and double edit. Only time will tell, my friends. Pros that have retired. With the increase in growth in skill over the play base due to hours of practice that can be put into creating mode, a lot of people could have a growing potential to play competitive Fortnite while some decide to quit. It's not just that too. The everlasting issue regarding console players having aim assist seem to have posed an unfair advantage when battling against the PC counterpart. Players such as Luca Poch, who is regarded as one of the best competitive players, stepped down from the game in April 2020. His tweet longer post contained information about how the game wasn't fun anymore, alongside the fact that the development team also has a lack of communication when it comes to the competitive and fan communities. A lot of notable players have spoken about this. Rooks, Cypher PK, Tears and Myth had all had their fair takes on the imbalances prevalent within the game. Fortnite is a third person battle royale shooter that has been around for 3 years almost. With an increasing to a now steady player base, one could only hope for the future of the game and what it could bring to the table. What is your favourite emote in the game? Let us know down in the comments. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and subscribe for more daily content. Don't forget to ring the bell to receive notifications of when a new video releases. This has been Music Chess with the best battle royale game, signing out.